So, Ren, and this episode is going to be pretty special, huh? Yeah, dude. Something's waiting for us at the end. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? What is this about? Why isn't it in the script? <laughs> Yo, because we're going to talk about your love life, man. Oh, Ren, and did Zach leave the call? Oh, shoot. Yo, I, th- <laughs> I think he left the call, bro. <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome back to our third episode of 730 Lectures. That's right. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to do so now below. And a quick announcement is, today our sponsor is Audible. Damn, Renan. <laughs> sounding like a big-time YouTuber, I see. Oh, but dude, because I got the coding tip I gave you, I got it from the book called The Pragmatic Programmer. And it's one of the <laughs> books I got from Audible. So guys, if you guys want to get one free Audible book on us, just click the link on the description below. Are you educating me on coding? Dude, you, you do know I know a thing or two about coding. It's because I'm oh. Renan, man. If you haven't caught their previous episodes, my name is Emilio. And my name is Zach. And as always, let's start off this episode with our amazing title. The title for today is, I take my phone and text my non-existent girlfriend. Yeah, sad. Just you guys. Just you guys. I'm fine. Anyways, today we'll be exploring different relationship dynamics in the college setting. So I guess we're gonna start off with the evolution of platonic relationships from Big words. high school, from the high school setting Mind to college. Oh, yeah, we're so sorry. Mind explaining <laughs> what platonic <laughs> means to you. Platonic is a kind of relationship that is very friendly and that isn't romantic in nature. Uh, yeah, no, the right. Right. facts, okay. bro. Facts. Okay, okay, okay. So anyway, so yeah, you're basically like friends and stuff. Like there's no romance like attached to anything. So when I talk about the evolution of my platonic relationships from high school to college, I guess I look at it from a pr- from the perspective of how I personally changed because most of my friends are going to be constant in terms of how I approach friendship. It's that's what changes, and you learn from your experiences as a friend, and you become a better friend because of it. Um, oh, just a second, just a second. Oh, Renan, can you back me up on this? Is he a better friend since <laughs> graduating from high school? Oh no, I'm not. Sure. Sure, just kidding. <laughs> no shade. But yeah, so I guess like when I think about like high school and college, um, I look at it from the bigger picture. So in high school, you know, you come from an all boys school, and I came from Savior with my two other brothers over here, and we were there for 13 years, and it was really fun. And at a certain point early on, you know, you become really close to the people. Um, you see, because you're just 300 guys seeing each other every single day for 13 years. Dude, that's not, so it's that's inevitable. So wrong, bro. Just you. <laughs> So we see each other on a daily basis and, and at a certain point you stop caring about certain things. I mean, you don't care about what you wear. Things you can change, like the shoes or like you don't wear like a fancy watch the or whatever. Shoes? And like okay, okay. you don't even think well, uh- Fancy watch, please stop wearing your Apple Watch to school, yes, Mr. <laughs> stop wearing your Gucci loafers. I don't have <laughs> Gucci loafers, bro. <laughs> I came to a point where I didn't even take a shower anymore in school. Like, okay, we're leaving the call. <laughs> when I got to college, you know, things changed. I mean, you have a different environment. You have a co-ed environment. You have a much bigger campus. And you have a set of diverse spaces. Um, that you see every day. I mean, one batch probably has 2,000 students or probably even more. And so you have people from all around the Philippines and all around the, the world. You suddenly like start to care, I guess, about how you appear physically on a daily basis. And I guess in the start of college, you feel anxious about, you know, the new environment. You get intimidated by it, by the new and bigger faces. But the ironic part about college is... Despite that, you're gonna eventually meet people that you're gonna be super close to. And I guess the thing with college is it's about really getting close to people on a deeper level. Like, it's about quality relationships. If high school was about the number of friends you had, quantity, college is about staying with a certain group of people and actually getting close to them. And I guess when you get that kind of more comfortable more homey environment in college. You stop caring about all these petty things like clout and drama, whatever, and start to find a group of people where you really get to relax yourself. And it's really an opportunity for you to choose people you hang out with. And those are people that will really bring out positive and authentic energy out of you. What do you guys think about college friendships? Dude, I, I just wear my pajamas in lectures, bro. Oh, even my classmates, because I don't know, for some reason in the US, like it's a it's a hit or miss. It's either you see the fashionistas, mostly the international students, 
And then there's people like me who just want to chill, be comfortable, wear my joggers and stuff, with my wear my hoodie. And like, there's not really an in between. Basically, like it's it's comfort or crowd. And that's what I noticed from my experience. Yeah, you're right though. I think like when you talked about the very immense diversity and difference we can see from college and high school. Like in high school, right? Every day we do, we probably know what we're gonna do each day, even before we go to school. From hanging out with our friends to sitting down and listening to our teachers talk in class. But in college, I guess like, oh, I guess it's like what we said on our Facebook profile. We're three undergraduates trying to live each day in college differently. But you know, like, um, I really think what you said is right. From having 30 30 people in one class to having over I have the, my calc class has 400 people in it and you know That's my crazy. professor told me that the town beside my school has less people than the total amount of people in that class so yeah I mean I guess we really have different college dynamics here but I guess the premise of all of our points is that you know it, it really changes from high school to college I guess we can move on to the second most important I guess it's like the next in line our uh, most important relationship in college and that professional relationships you Guys, know those connect with us on LinkedIn, LinkedIn. <laughs> my name is Ren and Larsha. we can have a coffee chat about you know consulting <laughs> guys, like there's opportunities uh, <laughs> okay yeah, on that note though like um I just want to touch on the fact like how I started joining hackathons coding competitions or innovation competitions ever since I was like grade 9 or something like that but Hello. it was in those events that I first created some professional relationships that I believe it would lead me towards my choice of of majoring in computer science in college. So I guess it would be really important to note that it's super essential to network in college or whatever event that you may take part in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's super important. But sometimes you should like you shouldn't forget that networking isn't all about um, seeing relationships as transactional. Like you can't just look at a person and oh, oh, this guy's my ticket to. Um, get a job at like investment banking or private equity stuff like that you should always like treat a relationship as a as like a plant like you you plant the seeds and then you water it you nurture it you cultivate it and you, you don't necessarily expect results right away but i think they just come if you treat them with love is this from another audiobook of yours, Renan? Maybe, maybe. That's why, guys, use the link in the description. <laughs> You're right, though. I, I guess, like, um, you never know how one person you meet will affect or even help you in the near future. I guess it's not about just creating relationships. It's about creating opportunities for you to maintain that relationship yeah and it's yeah. i guess it's not just opportunities like um i won't divulge the name but i met an alumni uh back in the philippines and he's been giving me some really valuable insight and advice and i keep emailing him like every three months or so and to this day he's been like a really really resourceful and helpful and really kind person and i'm, yeah. I'm just really happy that i was able to connect with him and it's these kinds of benefits that i think people should be looking forward to not necessarily if the person can get you like a job yeah for sure i guess i guess authenticity really matters when it comes to networking i mean more than just you know seeking certain opportunities or looking for them being able to discern what are the good opportunities you know entering in with the mindset of being authentic is like the best way to network like professionally and i guess there was one time i went to a I went to a Model UN conference um, in um, in Ateneo just a couple of months ago, and team. I didn't come in with a mindset that this is probably gonna be a, a place to like you know network with certain people. Networking, I saw myself when I saw myself getting into when I entered the conference was an authentic was making authentic friendships and just being there and you know just being yourself and just talking to them and just enjoying the time there and you know making friendships in the process and trying to maintain it like once in a while so renan didn't i see you on bumble the other day <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, excuse yo, me dude, excuse the, me the weird thing is though why why am i on your feet that's even crazier bro Fox, you both don't know enough about bumble to trash on it <laughs> neither do i that's why i'm not trashing on it so renan can you oh. tell us about your experience oh, in love? oh my i'll be as spontaneous as i can 
I guess I'll get, I'll be in the hot seat. You guys can grill me. How many girlfriends have you had, Naranan? I had one relationship. Wow. With a girl. One relationship. How did you meet that girl? It was a convergence in an intellectual conference. <laughs> <laughs> so when you yeah. when you guys when you guys drifted off, like how were you able to manage it? I mean, Renan, you're managing it so well. You're like it's like you didn't even get heartbroken. I mean, I did. Oh no, I gosh, Renan, please. <laughs> No, I, I definitely take me back a couple of months ago. A couple, bro. I mean, it's been like what, eleven months? Eleven months. The first few phases were hard, like the first few months. But as the months progressed, um, I was acclimating myself to a different country, you know, from the Philippines to the U.S. So I was meeting different kinds of people. You know, I wasn't falling like having crushes with anyone instantly. But I guess the fact that I was in a completely different country helped my transition from being heartbroken to. You know, feeling better. I mean, there's definitely going to be times where my feelings are at high, at like a high point, and I, I start to yeah. reminisce about like the person or something. But I guess those are just moments of weakness, definitely. And I hope that the other person's happy because I'm at the point where I'm not really wishing ill on her or anything. I just want like both of us to be happy on our own. Oh, oh, that's the Renan so we mature. all know and love. Very so mature, caring for and love. More on the platonic <laughs> side of friendships, I see. Of course, of course. I mean, I have you guys, you know. If there's something I appreciate about you, Renan, it's the fact that you're very mature. Like, when you look at things and, like, you're very objective. You don't hold unnecessary grudges. Because you not only care about the other person and, like, you try to empathize with that person. But you also care about yourself and like I guess dealing with heartbreak entails a lot of self-care and self-love and you can only get through that if you really if you're able to realize that you're worth more than you think. Yo, all this flattering EO. Should we just date each other? Joe. <laughs> what the, I'm sorry, yeah, man. Okay. Hey, the bumble joke was was a joke. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Don't so, take it the wrong way, bro. You took said joke too far. How about what you, Zach? Matter? How's your love life? This is the oh. ultimate question everyone's asking. Come on, That's Zach. What I want to hear, bro. Literally, everyone no one wants has to asked. know, man. Literally, How many no one has asked have you had? about it. No, I am you leaving and this I, call. Social media. Oh, come oh, on. Yo. So, if you guys do like this episode, please stay tuned to our other episodes. Quiet, Renan. Stop sounding like a big-time YouTuber. <laughs>